Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. So picture this. You just wired your desktop PC up to some uber fast internet connection, which is like super exciting because surely this will be no more lagging out of your favorite games or thrilling Skype dates. Then, eager to experience this kind of speed on your laptop or mobile device, you buy a fancy looking Wi-Fi router, you key in your password and, wait, what? Your speeds aren't even half of what you're getting with the wired connection. What gives? Well, unfortunately, wireless is pretty much always gonna be slower than wired. It's a, a near universal truth that becomes more and more obvious the faster you try to go, even if you spend tons of money on high-end wireless gear. But then, okay, now, bear with me here, because EM waves do move faster through the air than electrons do through a wire. So why is it? Well, let's start with the most obvious, signal range. If you're using an ethernet cable and you want gigabit speeds, you can have a cable run of up to 100 meters. That's roughly as long as a football field. This is because the signal inside the cable doesn't deteriorate appreciably until you have a longer cable run. But radio signals flying through the air, such as Wi-Fi, are much more prone to signal degradation. Unlike a physical cable, which has a copper wire inside that only carries network traffic and is wrapped up in materials to shield the signal from interference, Wi-Fi signals are just blasted everywhere, meaning they have to compete with walls, your roommate's microwave, and other network traffic. You see, unlike Ethernet, where your device gets one dedicated pipe that runs to your modem or your router, there's only so much spectrum available for your Wi-Fi enabled laptop and your phone and anything else. And what that means is that your device will often be broadcasting on the same frequency or channel as others, which can lead to more interference that can further degrade the signal and give your router more work to do to sort it all out. But okay, hold on a second, Linus. You can hook up lots of wired devices to a router as well. So doesn't your router have to figure out where all those different signals are supposed to go? Yes, but Wi-Fi and Ethernet have different strategies to combat packet loss, which is exactly what it sounds like when a chunk or a packet of data doesn't reach its destination. Oftentimes, this can occur due to a collision when two devices try to transmit it at precisely the same time. And if this happens, the packets have to be resent. So the way that an ethernet connection avoids collisions is that once the sender determines that its path to the destination is clear, it sends the packet immediately. If the path is busy, the sender will send the data as soon as the path is clear again. Wi-Fi, on the other hand, introduces a small delay once the path becomes clear. The idea is that since a wireless router can't magically detect a collision in midair, this delay reduces the risk of collisions. But as it does so, it also adds more latency. And although many leaps in Wi-Fi technology have been made over the years, it still resembles much older school communications protocols in one important way. It is half duplex, meaning that a Wi-Fi gadget's antenna can only be sending or receiving at any given moment, not both. Now, Full duplex wireless is in the works, but it's still experimental and suffers from its own special kind of interference that results from the antenna trying to deal with both inbound and outbound signals at the same time. By contrast, Ethernet has been full duplex for quite some time now, as it's not difficult to simply put one wire in for transmitting data and another one for receiving it on the same cable. So all other things being equal, don't be surprised if your Wi-Fi connection always seems just a bit slower. Even if you do walk around with your smartphone neurotically duct taped directly to a router. Just please, please go faster. Speaking of going faster, if you're a freelancer or a small business owner and you want to get your work done faster, check out FreshBooks. FreshBooks is the cloud accounting software that's designed for the way you want to work. And it's the simplest, easiest way to be more productive, more organized, and perhaps most importantly, get paid faster. You can create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds. You can set up online payments with just a couple of clicks to get paid up to four days faster. And you can see when your client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games. So don't take my word Word for it, try out FreshBooks for free. They've got a 30-day free trial available to our viewers down below, and then 
Guys, when you do sign up, that's freshbooks.com slash techquickie, make sure you enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other videos. Don't forget to leave a comment if you have suggestions for future Fast as Possibles. We do read those things, you know. And subscribe, because if you don't subscribe, bees, bees will eat your hair. They do that, you know. It's not misinformation. We're a tech channel. People aren't expecting biology, you know, factual hey, accuracy. Get what you get.